Hey, what's going on, everyone? Patty's Luck here, and today I'm going to bring you another one of my favorite beginner builds. This time, we're going to talk about the Ark Hunter. This video is the fourth Hunter Beginners build that we've put together on the channel. So go check out our YouTube page and see what other builds, highlights, and all around fun we're having over there. We're still a growing channel, so if you like what you see, don't forget to drop that subscribe and uh, check us out for more content. So enough of that, let's get started. This build focuses around generating orbs of power and ionic traces while using the Star Eater Scales leg armor. Ionic traces and orbs of power both help regenerate super and ability energy. Collecting orbs of power also boosts the Star Eater Scales leg armor with its Feast of Light perk. With Feast of Light, you get additional super energy from orbs of power, and while your super energy is full, picking up additional orbs of power overcharge your super making this a great arc super for both DPS and ad clear. To support orb of power regeneration, I like to run armor mods uh, such as arc siphon in the helmet with firepower and heavy handed armor mods in my gauntlets. There are a lot of great arc weapons out there that will really support this build. A few that I found in the exotic area are center fuse auto rifle, trinity ghoul combat bow, and Risk Runner Submachine Gun. Other exotic options for the power weapon slot are Thunderlord and Grand Overture. There are some pretty good legendary arc weapons out there, but you can't go wrong with anything that has Vault Shot or that you can get rapid arc kills with. This season's artifact is very solar and strand heavy, so there's not a lot of support we're going to get from the artifact, at least until Final Shape drops. For the Arc Hunter, uh, we're going to go for the Arc Strider subclass. I'm running Gathering Storm. This super pairs really well with the Star Eater scales. For abilities, they're pretty much your call. Nowadays, I'm running Marksman Jodge and Triple Jump. For the Arc Melee ability, I find this build goes really well with Disorienting Blow. With Disorienting Blow, anytime you strike a target with this Arc ability, it blinds them and amplifies you. Grenades are also your choice, but I recommend using grenades that are good for clearing ads. Skip grenades and flashbang grenades are not my top choices, uh, but I prefer to use the pulse grenade uh, or the storm grenade. They're both pretty good choices for this build. For our aspect, we're going to go with Tempest Strike. With Tempest Strike, activating your charged melee ability Remind while sliding unleashes a devastating uppercut way. attack that travels along the ground in front of you, damaging and jolting targets. Our other aspect is Flow State, where defeating targets are going to make you amplified. As we get into our fragments, you're going to see why it's important, why it's important to jolt targets and become amplified. With our first fragment, we have Spark of Discharge, where our arc weapon final blows have a chance to create ionic traces. In this case, using Trinity Ghoul or Risk Runner has the ability to do massive ad clearing, consistently creating ionic traces to get your abilities back faster. The next fragment is Spark of Shock, where your grenades are going to jolt targets. This is helpful because while jolting targets with our grenades and defeating them, we're going to continue to become amplified. This helps with our next fragment, which is Spark of Amplitude, where defeating targets while you're amped creates an orb of power. As we know, orbs of power will regenerate our super and will increase the damage of our super through the Star Eater scales. Our last fragment is Spark of Ions, where defeating a jolt to target creates an Ionic Trace, where an Ionic Trace is going to grant us our ability energy. The way you play this build is pretty straightforward. Rapidly defeat targets with your grenades and arc weapons to generate Ionic Traces and Orbs of Power. Ionic Traces will continually regenerate your abilities, while the Orb of Power regenerates your super. Once you fully have your super, Star Eater Scales will collect up to a stack of four and make your super even stronger. In this case, our super being Gathering Storm, where throwing this at a boss or large group of adds makes us a very powerful build. Well, that's it for this arc build. It's pretty easy to put together and very straightforward to play for any game style. If this video was helpful, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe, or follow us for more content. Check out some of our other beginner hunter builds or drop a comment below and let us know what your favorite arc build is. Until next time, stay lucky gamers.